Hi, I'm Jasmine. Welcome to the Brain Injury Society of Toronto's virtual support series. In this video, I will show you how you can create a Google account or Gmail. With a Gmail account, you can send and receive emails and set up an online Google Drive to save and share important documents, notes, files, and pictures with internet access. In our next best video, I will show you how to use your account to set up a Google Drive. But for now, we will focus on creating a Google account. First, open your internet browser by clicking a little image. It may look like Google Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, or Firefox. I am using Google Chrome, but the Google account will look very similar if you're using Safari, Internet Explorer, or Firefox. When you open your internet browser, type www.google.ca into this area here. When your page looks like this, look around. In the right corner, you will see Gmail. Click Gmail. When the screen changes again, look around. In the middle of the screen, you will see Create Account. Click Create Account. If you click Create Account and you see For Myself or For My Business, click For Myself. The screen will change and you will need to type in your own information. Type in your first and last name. You will also be able to create your own username that will be attached to an email. This username can be your first and last name or a nickname that you like.
Then type in the password. Make sure your password includes letters, numbers, and special symbols. A special symbol includes ones that look like these here. To make a special symbol, look on your keyboard and find shift and a special symbol of your choice. The special symbol will be attached to a number. When you have decided which symbol you would like to use, click shift at the same time that you click the symbol. After you have filled out the information, click Next. When you click Next, you might see a red exclamation point and a message that says, That username is already taken. Try another. Underneath this message, you will see Available. To keep things simple, choose one of these available usernames. If you have a hard time remembering passwords and usernames, write it down and keep it in a safe place where you will be able to find it later. If you have any questions about this, please talk to a support person or contact BIST. Some devices offer an option to save the password for you. Only do this if you are the only person using your computer and access to your computer is password protected. Click Next. You have to type more information here. If you do not have a cell phone number or another email address, do not worry about putting information here. If you do have a cell phone number or another email address, then you should put them here for safety reasons.
you should type in your birthday and gender. If you are comfortable with this, type in your birthday and gender. If you have questions about this, contact someone you trust or BIST. Click Next. The screen will change and you will see privacy and terms. For your own safety, try to read through the page a little bit. If you are having difficulty understanding these terms, contact a support person or someone you trust before you click I agree. When you feel ready, click I agree. At this point, you will see your Gmail account opened on your screen. You will see a message here. Click Got It. You will also see a message that says, Get started with Gmail. You are more than welcome to look through this at another time. But for now, click X 